If you're looking for a damn good bottle of wine that just happens to be kosher, get the Yarden Cabernet Sauvignon from the Golden Heights Winery in Israel. First things first, what makes a kosher wine kosher? Well, it's not as easy as a rabbi just blessing a bottle of wine. First, the wine must be kept free from contact with shemets. That would include grain, bread, and dough. Since wine is just grapes, that's easy enough. Next, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky, a Sabbath observant Jew must handle everything in the winemaking process, from the vineyard management, to the winemaking, to the bottling, and even right down to opening the bottle and serving it. Why the strict rules? Well, in the past, wine was also used in pagan religious ceremonies. The rabbis that set up the kosher wine rules wanted to make sure that the wines used in their religious ceremonies were never used in any of these pagan rituals. That's why they came up with the rule that the wines could only be touched by people of the Jewish faith. Fair enough, right? But what if you were throwing a huge party and you had non-Jewish people as your servers? How do you know that they weren't back in the kitchen having pagan religious ceremonies with your wine right before they served it to you? Well, they came up with Mavushal wines, which literally means to boil in Hebrew. Yeah, they would actually boil the wines because apparently this would kill off any of the bad juju that the pagans would infuse into it with their rituals, but it also made the wines taste terrible. You don't actually find that much Meshuva wine anymore, but it did give kosher wine a really bad rap. Some historians also believe it was done to discourage Jewish folks from drinking with non-Jewish folks because that would lead to intermarriage. Turns out, drinking has been leading to hookups for over 2,000 years. Now, actual good kosher wine is made all over the world, but nowhere is it more important than in Israel. Though kosher wine is a huge part of their winemaking industry, there's actually a very rich wine culture in Israel that generally flies under the radar. Israel is a small country with a lot of microclimates, meaning there's a lot of variety among the five most prominent winemaking regions. I'm gonna botch these terribly, but Galilee, Shamron, Samson, Jerusalem Mountains, and Negev. New winemakers are beginning to experiment with new world winemaking techniques to make the most of Israel's unique wine regions. International availability is also another barrier to high quality Israeli wines, but people like Yarden Imports are bringing these wines into the US. Yarden offers a truly diverse selection of high quality Israeli wines, from classic Cabernet, to a sparkling rosé, to Riga Nacional, and even an ice wine. So now you know. Today's kosher wines are a far cry from Manashevitz. A lot of these wines coming out of Israel today are really great bottles that just happen to be kosher. These wines are perfect for special occasions, but they're also great for just everyday drinking. Plus, these wines happen to be hashtag blessed.